Reforming our prisons, a bill has finally been passed that both sides agree on. CBS 17's Drew Petromo takes a closer look at the act designed to reduce sentences for nonviolent offenders. None of us expected an 87 to 12 vote. Holding up the final tally, Iowa Senator Chuck Grassley said passage of the First Step Act is a victory for justice and bipartisan compromise. Just proves that when people trust each other, uh, you can sit down and uh, get legislation. The wide ranging bill restricts mandatory sentencing for nonviolent offenders, allows some inmates to earn early release for good behavior, and supports prison programs to prepare inmates for life on the outside. Let me preface my remarks by telling you about the worst vote I ever cast as a member of Congress. The story of the First Step Act dates back to the mid 1980s when Congress began passing tough on crime bills to fight epidemic drug abuse and violence. And it backfired. Illinois Democratic Senator Dick Durbin says it led to more drugs on the street, overcrowded prisons, and disproportionately impacted minorities. Over the last decade, Durbin has fought to change course, and the Democratic leader found an ally in Utah Republican Mike Lee. We knew that it would be difficult. The senator's reform bill languished in Congress. Then came a breakthrough I never expect. The election of Donald Trump as president. President Trump praised the First Step Act and pushed for a vote. Convicted child molesters should not be allowed early release. Arkansas Senator Tom Cotton led the fight against the bill. It will help reduce crime. But he was overcome by a coalition of lawmakers like Tennessee Senator Lamar Alexander, who believe it does protect public safety while also bringing fairness to the system. In Washington, Drew Petromo, CBS 17 News.